No. Appreciate you, my dude. Thank you. So we made it back home. The anchovies have been in the Pelican cooler for about 30 minutes with no extra oxygen. Normally people use aerators when they're bringing their live bait home. So let's see if any of these guys are still alive. These are some nice little pieces of bait. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a bunch of salt. This draws all the waters out of the fish, makes it easier to freeze. It also gets the water much colder than normal. Next, I'm gonna add some ice to super freeze this bait. So you don't wanna mix this too much with your hands because this mixture can give you frostbite. It really hurts your hands. You can feel how cold it is. 
but you're going to be amazed when I pull these out of that liquid brine. Um, most of the time, they're frozen already. So it's been about one hour, guys. And let's check up on the brine mix. So this super cold brine mix is good for any kind of bait. Today I'm using anchovies, but you can use mackerel, herring, anything like that. My anchovies have been brining for about an hour. So let's check it out. And let's check out some of these baits. Perfect condition. Oh, they're frozen. So these baits are already frozen, but since I put so much salt in them, they won't completely freeze like an ice cube. Really nice pieces of bait. These are about four inches long and they're in perfect condition because I froze them alive. So with the Pelican cooler, as well as this technique, if you use the right amount of salt, a right amount of ice, you can literally freeze water bottles. Your bait will be so cold and so frozen, you can smack it against stuff and it'll be solid to the core. So from here guys, this bait is gonna be perfect for free, but you guys are gonna notice when you freeze them that no ice crystals are gonna build up. And it almost looks like it doesn't freeze completely. This brine mix is so amazing that even when the ice melts, your bait will still be fresh in here. Thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.